Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I welcome you all to this uh, Android application development workshop organized by IEEE Society Comset Septaval. Uh, I'm Kashif Bilal and uh, I'm uh, serving as assistant professor here at Comsets and uh, I'm part of uh, Comsets for uh, quite long I believe I actually uh, became a member of Comsets family back in 2002 when I joined Comsets as a student in MCS the very first batch and uh, I was a medalist uh, of the very first batch of MCS and uh, then I joined in 2004 as a faculty member here uh, and in 2011 I went for my PhD from North Dakota State University USA and uh, rejoined Comsets back in, in, in 2014 so uh, today I'm here to discuss a bit about Android application development so initially it was decided to be a three days workshop however because of some time and schedule problems uh, we'll be having two days sessions today and uh, tomorrow inshallah and in these two days uh, I'll try my best to cover the basic concepts the building blocks of Android application development so that uh, you can uh, you can get a good kickstart of the basics of uh, Android app development uh, so that uh, whatever you want to do in your projects in your app apps you should have the basic knowledge of Android and just by looking at a couple of uh, articles or looking at uh, some book some text in the books or by looking at some uh, video tutorials you may be able to uh, do whatever you want whether it's uh, sort of uh, Arduino and facing um, some web app development some GPS related things so uh, definitely we cannot cover all of these things but we can definitely cover the basics the, the underlying building blocks under the hoods uh, and definitely we cannot cover under the hoods in so much details like we cannot talk about the kernel level details or what's the hierarchy and how the things are working However, I'll try my best to give some uh, idea on how to develop some apps, how to use some features in uh, Android. So here we go. Uh, Android is actually one of the world's most popular operating system. And uh, in September 2015, Google counted the total active Android devices in the world. The active count was 1.4 billion devices. 1.4 billion devices were running Android operating system. And uh, Android is being installed on more than 24,000 different devices. Like there are different 24,000 different categories of devices that actually use um, Android as their operating system. So Android is one of the most popular operating systems both for de developers and users like 40 percent more than 40 percent of the regular application developers they uh, in a survey they, they say that they'll be using uh, full-time Android application development in the future so uh, Android is uh, potential and uh, a very useful uh, option because of its open source nature and it's backed by Google one of the like we can say the giant the IT giant Google um, one important thing it's not important just for information uh, Google is not was not actually the developer of uh, Google actually didn't develop Android Basically, Android was a standalone company that was actually um, started in back in 2003. And uh, the key members were, or the founders were four persons. 
uh, and those four persons were in different good jobs like one of them was vice president of um, T-Mobile and some other stuff like this. And uh, they started working on a project secretly. Initially, they were like trying to develop the project for cameras and other stuff. Then they like uh, deviated their thinking towards mobile phones. At that time, Symbian was one of the most popular operating system used by Nokia and other stuff. So they started in 2003 secretly and in 2005 uh, Google actually purchased the whole uh, Android company and uh, in two years the worth of Android became 50 million dollars. Google actually purchased Android company in 50 million dollars. So that's the power of the idea. Like the idea they were working on Google purchased it for 50 billion dollars. So ideas are really important. Uh, similarly, YouTube. Uh, YouTube was. Anyone knows how for how how much Google purchased YouTube? 1.6 billion dollars. Google was uh, sorry. YouTube was founded, I believe, in 2006, and in 2007, Google purchased YouTube in 1.6 billion dollars. So, anyways. Irrelevant. So coming to uh, Android, actually there would be a prayer break. Uh, so I'm just trying to like give some idea of what Android is, what how it's useful before we dive into the technical details of ap Android application development. So uh, one of the important thing that it's uh, Google actually underlying uses Linux kernel. It's a uh, you can say it's a Linux variant. At underlying, it uses Linux kernels. The APIs and different frameworks that uh, the Android uses uh, are still actually uh, developed using C language. So C, again, is a very, very, still very, very popular and very, very powerful language. Even if you want some real-time application development in Android, you can, you are, you should opt C, not Java. So Android applications can be developed by in, in different languages in different platforms. For example, the most popular is Java that we will be going to use and uh, the Android application development. Previously, uh, Android uh, application development uh, was mostly done by uh, using um, another uh, open source IDE. I just forgot its name. It's very old. Eclipse. So now uh, Eclipse uh, uh, is no more uh, supported by Google. So uh, mostly now Android application development, Android app uh, studio is mostly used for Android application development. So um, other than Java, you may, you may develop uh, some applications, the real time ones in, in C++. One another important area that you may uh, like um, explore for Android application development is uh, HTML5. It's I believe the easiest way to develop Android application development. So HTML5 is very easy. Its syntax, its way of development is just like HTML. If if you have developed uh, ever uh, web applications. So HTML5, the same syntax can be used to develop the cross and the, the good thing of the HTML5 is that you can develop cross-platform applications. Like a single application that you develop using HTML5 or there are some other uh, frameworks like Xamarin that uses C Sharp at backend. So if you are a C Sharp guy, .NET guy, there are um, uh, different options available to you in, in form of Xamarin. And now actually uh, we will see you .NET in 2015 edition they have actually integrated Xamarin and HTML5 mobile app development in Visual Studio.NET. So uh, Android application can be, can be developed in .NET as well using Xamarin or HTML5. In HTML5, you have to use the JavaScript library that is Apache Cordova. That is one of the most, most, most popular libraries for um, uh, Android and cross-platform application development. Cross-platform means a single application that you develop can be 
actually uh, uh, run or can be installed on Android, iPhone, iOS, whatever, uh, or even on the Windows Mobile. So that is the power of the cross-platform uh, application development. However, uh, the mostly the most used and most uh, uh, I would say reliable way of uh, to develop the Android applications is using the uh, Java, and that is actually officially supported by the developers and Google and all that stuff. So there was a bit introduction of how how you can uh, like develop the Android application. So. Um, you can use Java, Java, C++, very limited, very limited people use it for very specialized sort of applications and HTML5 is a, is a good choice. It's, it's easy uh, and, it's, um, and there are many uh, different uh, uh, libraries and frameworks available like for example J, 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 jQuery Mobile, uh, Bootstrap, all these things can be used to develop uh, Android applications as well. However, uh, we may have a session sometime later regarding how to use HTML5. Uh, 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 of course, when, when we talk about interaction with device, there are two things we will discuss shortly. One is the layout, what you see. Those are some a bunch of controls. So uh, they generally do not pose any problems. However, when you interact with the device, then you have to use Apache Cordova and there might be some problems that may be raised for some specialized, specifically if you are like talking about some engineering sort of applications that, that requires uh, very frequent and very like uh, uh, rigorous uh, hardware interactions, then in that specific case, you might find some problems or some limitations, I, use, I should say not the problems, but some limitations, because that are the libraries. So if, you, if there is some library that you can use, you are good to go. However, if uh, uh, HTML5, Apache Cordova, or the framework, whatever framework you are using, it doesn't provide that specific sort of functionality, that specific sort of uh, library, then you are in trouble. So in that case, uh, most of the features are available with, with Java and uh, Android SDK. So that's why most of the people prefer uh, Java and Android SDK. So, so, so I believe that that might answer the question. Uh, so uh, I believe we should have a small 10 minutes prayer break yes. before time. Okay. So we, we will again. Sir, sure. No, no, no. Uh, the question is, what's the difference between Java and Android? So Android is actually a platform, it's an operating system that, that actually runs some sort of applications. So Java is the language, one of the languages that we can use to develop applications for that specific platform. For example, Windows is an operating system. You can use C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Python, and a bunch of languages to develop software for. So Java is actually the language that is used by Android SDK or that is used to develop the applications for Android. Sir, Android what? itself, it's actually but, written in C, not in Java. Sir, but uh, sometimes uh, we have a web server for Android, which are in APK files, sir. But uh, there are Java differences, there's a JDR. Okay. Uh, we might have a little touch about this thing. They are, like most of the time, the Java applications are, are JAR files, yes, sir. but here they are not supported by Android. Sir. Yes, yes, of course, because the runtime of the Windows operating system or the Linux is different from Android one. So to customize the things and to to deliver the efficiency, the the Java files, the binary bytecode files, are first translated to Java. Uh, sorry, the, the Android version sort of things like th th those are known as the, as the APK files. Yes. So the the runtime is different. The runtime for the Android and runtime for the operating systems like uh, Windows and Linux they are totally different. So that's why the JAR files cannot be uh, cannot run at uh, Android uh, platform. So Windows might have its own operating system. Yeah, Windows has its own uh, variant, 
and uh, most of the applications that are developed for Windows uh, mobiles are uh, are now uh, developed by uh, C# or the .NET compliant uh, languages.